Men of Chevrolet. Just as Chevrolet has led the world in motor car sales, and just as Chevrolet has led all motor car manufacturers in volume of advertising, so Chevrolet now marches out to maintain leadership in both sales and advertising. Our advertising program for 1933 in newspapers, in magazines, on the billboards, and on the radio will blanket the nation. Never before in its history has Chevrolet backed up its sales organization with a campaign that combines such powerful appeal, such aggressive spirit, and such vast coverage. Again this year, Chevrolet will use as the backbone of its national advertising campaign that strong and effective selling medium, the local newspaper. The newspaper is an absolutely essential part of the program of the day in the American home, in this American home. Hello, honey. Turn that thing off on your way, will you? Hello, darling. How did everything go today? Oh, not as usual. That radio reminds me I heard something new at the office today. Oh, did you? What is it? An old favorite of yours is going to be on the air. Oh, tell me now, who is it? There's going to be a program featuring Al, uh, Al Jolson. Now, what do you think of that? Oh, isn't that great? When's it to be? Next Friday night. Boy, that's one night we're going to stay home. Mm-hmm. Hey, remember when we saw him in that Winter Garden show? Oh, what was it? Bombo. Yes, wasn't he wonderful on the screen, too, in The Jazz Singer? He certainly ought to be fine on the air. Gee, I wish I could hear him sing that song again. Oh, how did it go? Oh, oh, April showers bring the flowers. Dee, 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 dee. Well, that sounds just like him. Oh. Might that strike you? What strike you? Turn the paper over, silly. Well, there's an ad you can read without your spectacles. Hmm, certainly is effective. You know what that means? That means we're going to wait a while before we go shopping for a new car. I bet they'll be so good we'll buy another one. And in millions of American homes, this little scene was enacted when Chevrolet's smashing pre-announcement advertisement made its dramatic appearance early in November. It ran in all the leading papers of the country, and its purpose was to make America mark time and wait for the leader. Its physical appearance and its vigorous tone sounded the keynote for succeeding newspaper advertisements in this leadership series. Two weeks later, the presses of the nation's newspapers roared again, and again, Chevrolet blankets the nation with the second pre-announcement advertisement. Well, the usual Thanksgiving Day proclamation. You can always depend on that. And incidentally, among other things, I'd like to be thankful for is a little cream in the coffee. I'm sorry I forgot it, darling. Here it is. Thanks, honey. What are we going to do after dinner? I don't know. Let's go to a movie. All right. I think we'll be able to walk. It's such a nice day off. Say, there's a smart idea. What is it? Look here. Thank you, America. Listen to this. So today, on this appropriate Thanksgiving occasion, the Chevrolet Motor Company joins with its dealers in extending thanks to the American public. Isn't it nice for them to do a thing like that on Thanksgiving morning? In this ad, appearing throughout the nation on the morning of Thanksgiving Day, Chevrolet drives home the all-important facts of its world leadership in the motor car industry. The copy begins by saying that America has awarded Chevrolet first place in sales during four out of the past six years and concludes with the promise of an even finer car and even greater value in 1933. Observe that not only by the copy but also by the display line at the bottom, a new Chevrolet will be announced early in December. The pre-announcement suspense is maintained. After the full force of preliminary advertisements in newspapers, on billboards, and over the radio has kept America waiting for the leader's new car, then the big announcement day arrives. Again, the presses turn, and this time they'll print millions of newspapers containing the greatest automobile news in years. Into the hands of all America comes this stirring announcement message. Today, Chevrolet presents a new six. 
It's the grand climax of weeks of intensive campaigning to build up curiosity and suspense and to focus America's attention on watching the leader. In the smallest town and the largest city, in North and South, East and West, everywhere in the United States, rich and poor, young and old, they'll all be reading the big news. And if ever there was an ad that will bring crowds into Chevrolet sales rooms, it certainly is this one. The first thing the reader sees at the top is the militant phrase, the leader marches on to even greater leadership. Then comes the powerful main headline. Today, Chevrolet presents a new six, longer, larger, faster, smoother, new in styling, more economical, and featuring Fisher no draft ventilation. And then comes the copy, hard hitting, direct to the point, revealing all the highlights of the new car and reaching a climax in a strong paragraph on Chevrolet's leadership. At the bottom, in bold display, are listed the outstanding features of the car, together with the price. A complete illustration of the new car has purposely been omitted, because experience has proved that if readers see the entire car in the announcement advertisement, they are less likely to visit a showroom. And the purpose of this ad is to get people into Chevrolet showrooms. One of the great advantages Chevrolet will hold over competition is size. So, later in the month, Chevrolet will release a follow-up ad that features size. That illustration is one of the largest and most dominating car pictures that ever went into newsprint. It not only arrests and holds the attention of the reader, but it also helps to carry the impression of a great big automobile and a great big package of value. The secondary headline and the copy that follows feature Chevrolet's combination of bigness and lowness and play up strongly that important selling advantage, Fisher no draft ventilation. At regular intervals will come succeeding Chevrolet follow-up ads. This, for example, is the next release on the national schedule, a feature advertisement bearing the striking headline, Again, Chevrolet leads the parade of progress with the greatest array of important advancements ever introduced on any low-priced automobile. Experience has proved this to be a sure-fire selling type of ad. Notice how effectively the three major features have been played up in the display. First, size and appearance. Second, Fisher no draft ventilation. Third, Chevrolet's new cushion balanced engine. Then observe these other important new features, each illustrated and described in such a way as to make every reader eager to buy a new Chevrolet. In January and in the months to follow, American newspapers will continue to carry this same kind of Chevrolet advertising with the same general tone and impression, the same bold and aggressive spirit the same vigorous headlines, artwork, and copy. In the week of the New York Automobile Show, for example, this ad you now see will appear not only in New York, but also in newspapers across the country. These ads that you have seen will appear in 1,800 daily papers and in 3,300 weekly, bi-weekly, and tri-weekly papers with a combined circulation of 40 and one half million. In each of these 5,100 papers will appear approximately 25 Chevrolet ads during the year which means that the message of Chevrolet leadership and the story of the Chevrolet 6 will be communicated to potential buyers the amazing total of three and one half billion times. From newspapers, we now turn our attention to that highly important and effective medium, national magazines. For the year 1933, Chevrolet will go into magazines on a big scale with a campaign of unusual power and proportion. Let's suppose the scene that follows is typical of the impression Chevrolet magazine advertising will make in hundreds of thousands of homes throughout the land. Chevrolet. Why, that's funny. I was looking at a Chevrolet ad, too. 
14 new models. Which one of these do you like? Oh, I don't know. They're all keen. I'll say so. There's Jim's whistle. You better get the card table okay. ready. Hello, are you home? Oh, there. How are you? Fine, thank oh, you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. you Hello, June. Where's Al? He's in the other room, just waiting for you. Come on, Al. Oh, yeah. Hi, Al. Oh, hello, Jim. Sit down. Make yourself at home. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, you folks thinking of buying a new car? Well, you can't tell. Oh, these new Chevrolets are pretty hard to resist. Let's see, here's the Digest, and here's the Saturday Evening Post. See, I saw an ad in this week's Cottage. Just as good looking as these, too. Yeah? Why, Jim, are you looking at the Chevrolet ad? Mmm, that's a good sign. Now see what you've done. Maybe I'll have to buy a new car, too, Al. Well, <laughs> Come on, yeah. folks. Let's play bridge. Chevrolet advertising will enter every magazine reading home in America and do a consistent job month in and month out. For example, there will be a strong showing in each of these general publications. The Saturday Evening Post, Collier's, the Literary Digest, Liberty, Time, and the Cosmopolitan. Chevrolet will be splendidly represented in these class magazines whose prestige is undeniable. Town and Country, Harper's Bazaar, House and Garden, Home and Field, Vogue, The Sportsman, Life, and The New Yorker. Through McCall's and good housekeeping, we shall make a special appeal to the women and to the men with Fortune, Nations Business, and Forbes. The farm field will get its share of Chevrolet advertising, appealing to the rural motorist and appearing in the country gentlemen, Cappers Weekly, Successful Farming, National Livestock, and the Corn Belt Farm Dailies. Chevrolet will continue its policy, which has been so successful in the past, of running different advertisements in practically every magazine on its list. We shall show you three typical advertisements from next year's magazine campaign. They will appear in brilliant colors, which of course are lost in this black and white reproduction. This announcement ad appearing in two of the leading weeklies displays all 14 models in a most effective manner. Here's the announcement advertisement appearing in other weeklies, putting across the same idea and showing 14 models in a different setting. And here is a typical advertisement of the series that is to follow making a habit of leadership by making a record of dependability. We drive home Chevrolet's leadership, the story of Chevrolet long life, and at the same time, present the car in full colors against the most attractive background done in the modern spirit. Ads with special feminine appeal will appear in the women's publications. Ads in business and in farm magazines will be directed to their readers. No class has been overlooked in this all-inclusive magazine schedule that makes it possible for Chevrolet to blanket the nation with this medium. You have been given some notion of the sort of magazine and newspaper advertising Chevrolet plans for 1933 and the scope of its schedule. A less progressive advertiser might well be content with such a vast program, but that's not enough for the leader. Every day and for 24 hours a day, 13,000 of these striking posters will reiterate the story of the new Chevrolet 6, a constant reminder that the leader has produced a great new car. Then the world's greatest entertainer was engaged to blanket the country still further with the Chevrolet message. Al Jolson. Though April a shower may come your way, they bring the flowers that are blooming in May. And if it's raining, have no regret, because it isn't raining. Rain, you know, it's raining violet. And where you see clouds on the hills, you soon will see crowds of a daffodil. 
So keep on looking for a bluebird and a listening for its soul. Whenever April is Every Friday, for half an hour, the vast radio audience will be tuned to the Master Showman. And several times in that half hour, the millions of listeners will hear the stirring message of Chevrolet leadership and selling facts about the great car that made leadership possible. And now let us try to grasp the tremendous coverage that will result from Chevrolet advertising remembering that it is the power of an advertisement plus the volume in which it is used that determines its ultimate value. Houses, 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 row after row of them, packed close together, block after block, mile after mile of homes, people, families, men and women. They read magazines, they read newspapers, they listen to radio, they look at billboards. 123 million people, 30 million homes in America today, and hundreds of thousands of them are potential buyers of Chevrolet cars. In those 30 million homes of the United States, newspapers will tell the story of Chevrolet leadership more than three and one half billion times. Into those 30 million homes, magazines will carry more than 700 million Chevrolet selling impressions. Posters, painted displays, and electric spectaculars to the number of 13,000 will register 60 million advertising impressions every day. And finally, through the 18 million radio sets of America will be delivered Chevrolet's message to 90 million men and women every week. Magazines, newspapers, billboards, radio. Gentlemen, Chevrolet will support your activities and those of your dealers during the coming year with the most intensive, the most powerful, and the most aggressive national advertising campaign that has ever been launched by a manufacturer of motor cars. This campaign that blankets the nation should prove a vital force in building up renewed confidence in the leader, in winning new measures of popular goodwill for Chevrolet, in directing the attention of the buying public to the many selling advantages of the new Chevrolet 6, in influencing hundreds of thousands of buyers to choose Chevrolet rather than any other low-priced car, in a word, Chevrolet's advertising campaign for 1933 is prepared, designed, written, and scheduled to increase the margin of leadership now enjoyed by Chevrolet.